How is everybody's day? I hope everybody's day is going a okay. Because me, myself, personally, my day is going great. Now, y'all already know we got to see what's going zones on social media. And we definitely got to see what these 33rds is out here doing. Because every time we look up, these 33rds have something to do. So would you guys please tap that like button for me? Would you please share the videos and please subscribe to none other than the Tube Vaughn? And some of y'all may know me as the Tube Don. It don't matter really what you know me as. Just know that I'm over here kicking the truth. You see, some that those other tubers is not doing. Well, enough of that, you guys. Let's go on get into what we was going to get into today and see what's going zones on social media. So with all that being said, you guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to see what's happening with Mr. Old Block Lil Dave, you see, and what we're going to figure out if the um the federal government was right about Mr. O Block Lil Dave, was Mr. O Block Lil Dave bogus for ratting, or did Mr. O Block Lil Dave rat? You know, we got a lot of things we need to get into with this situation with Mr. O Block Lil Dave, and allegedly who's from O Block and who's giving up information in the trial. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, you guys, let's listen to something, and then we're going to get right back into regular scheduled programs. Or to you guys that um, although he did not testify yesterday, like some people are saying, uh, the dude O-Block Lil Dave, um, some people call him, you know, uh, BD Dave or O-Block Lil Dave, OTF Lil Dave. Um, he was in court yesterday. So reports came out that he had testified. Well, actually, it's today. So, you know, we're here to report, man, to do O-Block Lil Dave is testifying today against uh, O-Block. Um, I believe he will be testifying on the inner workings of the gang. And they're really using the dude O-Block Lil Dave as one of the witnesses to prove the RICO. Man. Um, I know they're trying to use him to prove a Rico because they're, they're not guilty of Duck's murder. And they also is not guilty of no Rico. And another thing I want to know is how they're going to use this boy, Little Dave, to break down the inner workings of Old Block. The man wasn't even in O Block that long. How you gonna break down the end of workers? Half the people in O Block don't even know him. What he's in O Block for um for three hundred sixty five days a year, something like that. So he can't break no inner workings down of O Block. And then could you please tell me what is the inner workings of O Block? That they was rapping like all these other youth is rapping and all these other people rapping. They was getting on Instagram live like everyone else was doing. They had no time to be running no big scale murdering drug gun operation to get no RICO case. And by the end of this video, I'm going to prove to you that it's no RICO case that they frame Muwap and the old blocky, as you see what I'm saying? And all those guys was paid to um, for that information from the government to say what the government wanted them to say. You feel me? And looking back into our older cases and our older stories, um, there's a chance that old block Lil Dave is cooperator number two. You know, when you look at cooperator number two, you know, we had previously reported that it was the boy Lowe's Lunner. We still stand by that. You know, we dropped a recording uh, of, a, of his actual court date uh, in that video where, you know, the judge and different prosecutors, you hear him speaking about him making statements and, and basically cooperating with the investigation. Now, you said if you look back into your previous cases and, uh, and, and your older stories that you was um, originally saying that cooperator cooperator number two was allegedly Mana Los because allegedly you have some original audio from his trial, right? That allegedly that the prosecutors and the DA or the judge or whatever was saying things, was talking and basically implicating that Mr. Mana Los was a rat and he was cooperating with the government, right? I know what video you're talking about and that video was a bunch of, that audio was a bunch of gibberish and it wasn't inside of a courtroom. They was on a, I think they was on the... Uh, the Zoom call, right? They was on the Zoom 
call, right? And the strange part about that is, right, you had the alleged prosecutors and the judge supposed to say some things like Mr. Mana Losa was cooperating, but I'm going to give you that because I don't recall them saying nothing about him cooperating or none of that. And whatever they were saying, I don't see how you put it to Mana Losa was cooperating. And I'm going to tell you that's a billion percent fact because if Mana Losa was cooperating, it would have been out that Mana Losa was cooperating. And y'all thought that Mana Losa was going to go in there and cooperate rate and he didn't and everybody stood up tall and this is why when they offered them plea deals they turned it down so if Manolos was cooperating with the government and told those boys what originally allegedly supposed to happen you see what I'm saying and then I think that the co-defendants probably would have copped out or took that plea deal if they knew that one of their co-defendants was um, cooperating with the government and this is why y'all see that didn't work and then this is why y'all had to come back with this guy little Dave to allegedly break down the inner workings because you know you don't have a case on duck you see what I'm saying you know they didn't take Carlton weekly down so now you got to go to plan C you see what I'm saying because you way past plan B so you had to go to plan C because you couldn't um, put that um, alleged cooperation on Mana Los. And we already see now, see, so you can go back and as further as you want in your stories and in your investigation. You can go all the way back to the beginning because guess what? We in trial now and if I think Mana Los was snitching and getting on the stand, he'll be on the stand. You see what I'm saying right now? And I think that would have been a trending topic, sir. You see, I think that would have been a trending topic. So would y'all please hit the like button if that would have been a trending topic. And then he's talking about they're still standing on that. You said you and your channel is still standing on that Mana Los is telling. Well, when is they going to come out and put Mana Los on the stand or when is they going to come out with the information or the statement that Mana Los made you see is they gonna wait to after um they try to convict them is they gonna wait to the trial is over with sir i don't know strange isn't it um we do just gotta go ahead and put that out there that the dude o black little dave um reports are that he was caught with a firearm uh, as a convicted felon and in order to avoid that 10 year sentence you know, that mandatory 10 year sentence that the feds would give you, you know, he went ahead and, and, and gave them some information. He was also compensated for his information. So very similar to the dude Trenches News, who, who we gonna get into a little later, he was compensated for his information. Okay, so allegedly the feds catch this guy, Little Dave, you guys, with a weapon, right? And um, as a convicted felon, and the feds offer him 10 years, right? So. The, uh, for him to escape this alleged weapon charge in this 10 years, he decided to cooperate with the federal government. You know how I know that's a cotton picking lie? Because allegedly, y'all, this guy decided to cooperate with the federal government, right? Now, we have all seen people catch these cases and decide to cooperate with the federal government. So he started giving up information allegedly about the inner workings of O-Block. But like I told y'all early, how would he know about the inner workings of O-Block? He's not even been around there that long, but we'll get into that in a minute. You see what I'm saying? But allegedly he started to, um, he said he's going to give up, um, information about O-Block. So he allegedly makes this deal to cooperate with the government. And the strange part about it, you guys, after he gives the information up to the government and everything, they compensate him. You see what I'm saying? Just like they did trenches. But we ain't never seen the um, police just, uh, the feds just snatch somebody for a gun case and tell them they wanna, want them to cooperate. You see what I'm saying? And then they cooperate and then the people still compensate him. No, they got compensated when he didn't have to go do that 10 years. He got compensated, right? When he didn't have to go do that 10 10 years, he got compensated, right? Would y'all please hit the like button if that clown allegedly was compensated when he got when he didn't have to do that 10 years. So why is the feds paying him? Why is they compensating him? But guess what, you guys? You finna find out in one hot second. By the time the end of this video was over with, you'll see why the feds is paying him. You feel me? We believe today, O Block Lil Dave will be taking a stand and testifying on the inner workings of O Block uh in, in that game we do want to uh give y'all some background information on the dude oblock little dave 
Um, he was not originally from O Block. He was originally, you know, from Minnesota. We believe he came to O Block maybe sometime after high school. So he did not spend a, a great amount of time at O Block. He does not have a lot of, you know, familial O Block ties. So um, allegedly, this guy O Block Dave is originally from Minnesota, right? And then um, he you he moves up to O Block in his um, high school years or days or whatever he said, teenage days, days or whatever he said, it doesn't matter. But he's from Minnesota, right, you guys? And allegedly, he moves to O Block. He really doesn't have any ties, a lot of ties to people in O Block and things of that nature like that. See, you see what you just said? So I want to ask you this here. If you just saying he really ain't got all these ties, he just moved up to O Block, he's originally from Minnesota and and all of this stuff like that, then let me ask you this. How on God's green earth would he know about the inner workings of Obla? Because the whole little time Vaughn was living, guess what? Moo-Wop and all them boys was out of town in Atlanta on jets in Pittsburgh, down here doing features with these people in Detroit, doing features with Sada Baby, Sam Santana, doing features all everywhere. You feel what I'm saying? So when did he have time to know about this inner work? and everything because the same thing Vaughn and Moo Wop and the old block ends was doing rapping and moving around and going here and going there is the same thing everybody else was doing and you got to understand Chicago was the roots so they always going to come back home and check in and do things like that but I'm trying to see how would Lil Dave know about this inner workings in this big organized crime situation and things like that and he's from Minnesota and he came down to Chicago and moved in O Block and he really don't know nothing because he really don't have any ties to a lot of people so how on God's green earth would he be able to go get on the stand and allegedly break down the inner workings of O Block already heard the dude try to not get his name put out there he was shaking like Elvis when he seen the feds put Trench's name out there and that's why he called the feds and said hey I'm with my family I can't go testify old black killed my brother my brother died and it came out to find out all that was a cotton picking lie you see what I'm saying and where he screwed up and messed up at was getting compensated for what he did. That's where he messed up at, you see. And guess what? We gonna see why he messed up when he got compensated in one hot second. But he did live there and he caught his gun case and it looked like the feds is gonna use him. We've also been told that the information he's gonna give is, is somewhat generic. Um, Sir, don't sit up there and say that you um has also been told that the information he's going to give is going to be generic. And you know why I say that? Because you know that the information he's going to give is going to be generic. And you know that I'm on YouTube, right? You know this, right? And this is why you said that you hear that the information that he's going to give is going to be generic. So if this guy is supposed to be this secret witness number two, cooperator number two, and he is allegedly supposed to be taking this stand and all this stuff, then how do you know the information that he allegedly supposed to have been giving up? Because the only people that's supposed to know that information is Muwap and them defense attorneys and the federal government and the informant. Right. OK, my point exactly. Would y'all please hit the like button, you guys? If y'all see him just stick his own foot in his mouth, he said allegedly they was told that the information that little Dave is going to give is going to be just generic. We already know it's going to be generic and the fed should have knew it was generic when they allegedly um, when he allegedly gave them this information. Why would the feds use that information? They should know it's generic. The feds will go back and fact check everything, right? Wouldn't the feds go back and fact check everything? Please hit the like button, you guys, if you think the feds be jumping up using generic information. One thing the feds is not playing with is no informant, no rat trying to be an informant or whatever, trying to get 10 years 
took off his sentence trying to walk away from not doing that 10 years will be given the feds no generic information that is a billion percent fact but my thing is if this guy finna take the stand and all this stuff and he's cooperated number two and they never put his name out there none of that stuff to almost the middle of the trial and all this stuff so how would do know that the information that he's finna give is finna be generic who would tell dude that the only people could tell him that is the feds the defense attorney and we know it wasn't the defense attorneys because they're not going to tell them that but they're the only people that know is the feds the defense attorneys um the prosecutors and the informant and the rest of the informants on the case you see what i'm saying and that's why you just let me know that you're a dea operative and an informant but it wasn't hard to figure it out because a grown man with common sense should know a billion percent fact that the feds doesn't use um no generic information and that just proves to me how you knew it was going to be generic information because you got inside ties with the federal government and those informants as well because you're an informant and a DEA operative as well. I'm sure he will, you know, cooperate and, 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 and uh, agree with what the feds are saying. You know, that's his job is to. I'm sure he will, you know, cooperate and, 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 and uh, agree with what the feds are saying. You know, that's his job is to. I'm sure he will, you know, cooperate and, 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 and uh, agree with what the feds are saying. You know, that's his job is to uh, agree with what the feds are saying. You know, that's his job is to whatever the feds want him to say, he say it. Um, hold, hold on, hold on. You guys, did this guy just stick his foot in his mouth and did he just prove my whole point? Did you hear what he said? Listen, first off, I thought that they're charged with racketeering. I thought that this guy's supposed to be breaking down the inner workings of Oblox. So why would he have to agree with what Ever the feds say why would he have to agree with what the feds tell him if the feds got to tell him what to say in his information that he's supposed to be cooperating with the government and the feds got to tell him what to say in a statement that don't make sense because why would the feds be telling him that if the feds already know that then why won't the feds just go get Muwap in the old block and see because they already know it why do the feds got to get him to get on the stand and say this wouldn't it be more credible if the feds got on the stand and said what the inner workings of old block was it steadily got to tell little dave what to do and why was that little dave's job because little dave got compensated this is why that was little dave's job because little dave got compensated for this story this narrative that the feds told him to say and that the feds told him he was going to get on the stand and say but when the feds put trenches news on front street little dave knew he was next and this is why little dave had his people to call in or he called in and told the agents him that he wasn't going to testify that day because allegedly his brother died and then he allegedly told them that old block man was the ones that took his brother down and then they found out that was a cotton picking lie and made him come in and get on that stand and recite that story that the federal agents told you to say about Muwap and them because they have no evidence on the Carlton Weekly case. They was framed for it. They wanted those people to talk about anything, any other snippet of any other crime or anything, and then that can hook them to the RICO indictment along with the statements from these cooperative Raiding witnesses that they was given 25k for and five thousand dollar installments for this information five five thousand dollar installments which add up to 25k for each one of these cooperating witnesses so why would the government have to tell a story to dave to say on the stand you said that he have to do what he got to say what the feds told him to say that 
is his job. You see what I'm saying? But why would the feds have to tell him to say that? As a grown man with common sense, it doesn't make sense because if the feds know the information, why the feds just won't go pick them up? It's more credible for a federal agent to be sitting on that stand picking moo whopping the old block ends out than it is this dude, little Dave from Minnesota that only been in old block for a little amount of time and have all this shaky, uncredible evidence. You see what I'm saying? And allegedly, the legend, listen to what he said in the same video, y'all. Allegedly, he was told that the information that this guy was given was bull crap. You see what I'm saying? It was weak. And then he turned right around and said, he got to give the, he got to say what the feds told him to say. That's his job. So allegedly who gave up this bogus information? Who gave up this bogus statement? The federal government, because they pay little Dave to just stand on the stand and say what they told little Dave to say. So that's why the federal government compensated the rat, you guys. This is why the federal government compensated the rat. Please hit that like button if y'all understand now why the federal government compensated that rat. And y'all understand now why little Dave is even a part of this case. You see what I'm saying? Shout out all of my people. You feel me? Shout out all of my people. Y'all know what time it is. You are now tuned in to the best YouTuber on YouTube and I'm out.